Ryan Stanek joining us here in studio on MLB Central. In all seriousness, I have to commend you for coming in because that that wasn't easy no. to be out there in that kind of game. How do you and the club – uh, those kind of things happen during the course of a long season. But when something like that does happen, how do you wash it off and get right back out there because that's what you guys have to do today. Yeah, I mean, it's a long season. Like, you can't really make any one game, one series, one – inning whatever it may be like that big of a deal yeah it sucks we play 162 games you got to just move on and and go back to work like that's that's pretty much how you got to look at it no matter how bad like you feel about a loss or yeah. how good you feel about a win you just move on and do it again well we're glad we're, you're here uh, I you heard on the on the little montage there about the velocity the velocity is is up Strong. almost uh, one mile per hour in fact one mile per hour difference uh, on your fastball, what has been the difference? Why the uptick in velocity? I have no clue. <laughs> to be to be honest, I don't know. Like, um, I came into camp this year throwing harder than I usually do in camp, and I was actually kind of a little surprised by it. I was like, this isn't good. I don't, I don't really know why I'm throwing harder in camp, but um, yeah, it just kind of kept up. I don't really know. I think I'm kind of back velo wise to what I was my first couple years in the league. So yeah, did you take away any of your mechanics or anything? No, I think a little bit of it was health. Like, I'd been obviously banged up a little bit yeah. in 19 and 20. So, um, last year I finally started getting healthy and then had a full off season to kind of train and get back into, like, how I mm. feel like I should feel. Right. And everything's kind of moving a little bit better. Lauren, yeah. we was in the back. We had a podcast type of <laughs> conversation. Oh, I know. Uh, I everything was really good. Was Lord. I mean, it was unbelievable. Give me the Just, best nugget about Ryan Stanek. <sighs> I mean, he's a real dude. Yeah, he can sit down with him. We can we can talk all night. Woo, pig suey. He's yeah, the Arkansas yeah, Razorback. I'm a leader. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. You know, Love you've it. been successful throughout your career. You go to Houston. It, from the TV screen, you just look. I don't know. It, it looks comfortable to me. Is that is that the case? I mean, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Like, I just think that we're very prepared all the time. Like. You always feel like you're ready to go into any situation because you've done your homework. Like the the pre-work to games like the homework that we do studying hitters um refining your own skills it, you just go into games and you you kind of understand yourself better and understand what you're trying to do and then you just kind of let everything else go you, you you know what your plan is and it simplifies the thought process throughout everything so you're prepared is that why you're cool because i would pee my pants in these situations <laughs> you're in and that you would are be, <laughs> that would be problematic yeah <laughs> i mean if i'm at the look. plate <laughs> if i'm at the plate and i see the opposing pitcher and he's i mean what's it's going the opposite on opposite of presence yeah. i mean yeah. but you have it does uh. it wrap, how do you mentally just I have no idea. I feel like most of the time yeah, I kind of black out on the yeah. mound. It, it, it That's the only way thing. to be successful. To black out? To black out and not really have an answer to why you're successful. Yeah. Mm. Because you start talking about it, it's like, oh, I did this, I did this. It's going to be derailed at some point. It's going to go, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Over, over yeah. analyzing. Yeah. You get well, paralysis. speaking of blacking out, I think we have <laughs> this moment here. This, from, this was from earlier this week. Uh, they started the week with an interesting two-game series against the Mets, and this was a hairy situation, Wait. and you're ultimately able to get out of it. Okay, so that's... That's out number Dirt. two. I like that right there. And then you're stalking off the mound. What do you, what, what's going, when you look at this, when you look at this, what comes to mind? Honestly, I don't remember like most of it until I got to the line and I was That's just out. like, man, yeah. there were a lot more pitches than I wanted to in that <laughs> inning. That was yeah. like my first thought, but no, I mean, it was just a big situation and um, to save one of our starters runs was good and, and to keep the lead at that point was good. So just to kind of let out a little emotion and a little yeah. energy was uh, it was kind of fun. I know the atmosphere last night was crazy, but just talk about being in Houston, no matter who you're playing, the fan base is strong as far as just coming out and showing this team love every single night. Yeah, no, our fans are our fans are unbelievable. They're they're diehard Astros fans. They they live and die with us. And I mean, it says a lot about the city of Houston. Right. Like they've they've kind of taken the team and and everything that's gone on is kind of like a like a badge of honor they try to they try yeah. to like be be a shield for the guys which well, is they which have is really they cool. have shirts Houston versus everyone yeah yeah, and yeah that's seriously really the i mean this is Houston was back in the day a a football town 
That's not the case right. anymore. Whenever you go to the city, everyone is wearing Astros gear. You rarely see Texans gear or Rockets gear. It is a baseball city. Oh, there's Everybody Astros stuff everywhere. It. Right. I mean, you think about what, why they is Houston against everyone. I mean, it's a reason. Yeah. yeah. They, yeah. It, you know, you 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 have a light to fight, a lot to fight for. Yeah, exactly. And and it's like it it kind of kind of resembles the team too, because like there's a lot of a lot of like solid, steady individuals and and that that support each other and. It's just such a tight knit group in the clubhouse that just kind of resembles like the feeling of the city. So it's 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 cool. Nice. You know, it, it, to be fair, a lot of the hatred is probably because of me. It's that's <laughs> that's probably if we're being look. I get it. I understand. You, you know, what was that? About? I've got I'm a not talking about. I'm I've got a punchable head. face. It, it happens. It happens. It's okay. Does your Don have to try? I mean, it He's, doesn't look like he does. He's a monster. I don't like. It's really fun to watch. Like, he hits baseball so hard, and, <laughs> and like he makes it look so easy. He's he's special. He really is. Like watching him work day in and day out, and like the things he can do is wildly impressive. I mean, this this is, uh, and as I said earlier, just 24 years old. And Lauren mentioned he makes it look so easy and effortless. Mm -hmm. It's remarkable. I think that's why he's so good, though. Like, yeah. you look at him, he's not trying to ever do too much. You very rarely do you ever see him trying to launch. He's just out there like, all right, you're going to throw me away? I'm going to hit it away. Right. You throw me in, I'm going to pull out. Like, he's like, he's not worried about where he hits the ball because he's strong enough to hit the ball out to any yeah. part of the park. So just he gets the bat head out and lets the rest do. I understand that Phil Maton made a very important purchase <laughs> Uh, for for you and the rest of your teammates in the bullpen, tell us about it. Oh yeah, I mean, Phil Phil likes coffee, and yeah. the, obviously most of the relievers like coffee. So Phil was tired of having just like the the stock pot of coffee brought out to the bullpen. So he bought a a, a little Nespresso machine mm, to like bring in works. and out for the for the for the Best bullpen. So. Yeah, he's, he's like, I'm investing in our quality of life. And I, I was like, like that's, that. that's, a, that's, a, that's a good way to look at it. We spend 80% of our time down there. So, yeah. like, it makes sense. When do you start getting locked in for, I mean, what are those first few innings Robert's for you? Robert's very like? concerned about when you get the call, like, how you get ready. Am I right? I, I look, just it's love the minutia. I love the minutia of it. Yeah. How, how do you spend those early innings? I mean, most of the time you just sit there and just kind of watch the game and chat and yeah. whatever and just kind of you kind of watch and kind of feel how how the vibe of the game's going right. and I mean I kind of start really locking it in kind of like in the fifth just because you sit there and get there and go all right well you see how the flow of the game's going all right I might go in for a b and c hitters and then or maybe this pocket or this inning or yeah. to clean up or something like that. So you're sitting there kind of like, all right, well, like I might go in here. And you get past your, your, your little range, and you're like, all right, I'm probably done. Yeah. And then it's the next guy's uh, like yeah. pocket or whoever it may be that, that gets the next one. So it's, it's, I feel like it's a lot less serious for like the first few innings. And then like, uh-oh. Mm. Yeah, see, live that, TV, you never know what happened. That, that, yeah. that, was, an, that was an Astros fan. <laughs> stuff at Still you. upset over what happened last night. Like, you know, I asked him about that. I was like, look, last night is one of those situations when Presley comes in the game. It's like, you know, do you actually take that mindset and can chill? He's like, yeah, because you think in your time is it's, it's a wrap. The closes in, you're going to let the pressure three outs of the game. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, that's not you know. Do, do you know anymore. beforehand? Do they? Do you have an idea without trade secrets? But do they give you a, an idea of before the game? All right, look in here. This Just is give probably. Me, give me your number. <laughs> <laughs> you know I, mean? I mean, yeah, no, I mean, you know your you know your pockets and like where your your matchups are best and, um, yeah, it just it's 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 not really. Anything in that situation, obviously, when when Presley comes in the game, yeah. that's 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 pretty much it. Um, so, I mean, yeah, you know, you know, kind of rough rough pockets of like where you fit in in their lineup Overall. and like where they where where they like to like deploy you. Yeah. So, I mean, kind of, yeah. Yeah. What'd you have for breakfast before we go? Uh, I had a coffee and a Danish. There it is. Mm, a I like Danish. It. Yeah. Must be nice to be able to eat carbs. <laughs> However, Lauren. Oh, to be young. 